What's up everyone? This is Bass3177 here and today I'm at the Singapore airport. I'm about to fly off to Sydney, Australia for Not Fast Australia. So for the people who have been following me long enough, you guys know that I'm a big Slipknot fan. You know, Slipknot is my favorite band of all time. And they were actually supposed to come to Singapore for a concert in 2020, but unfortunately COVID happened and you know that that got canceled. You know, they canceled the whole show. So uh, when I found out that uh, they were gonna do Not Fest Australia and Not Fest Japan, I was like, yeah, I gotta do it. And you know, the best part is uh, the Not Fest Australia and Not Fest Japan is gonna happen at around the same time, like around the same period. So I can make this one big Not Fest trip as opposed to like two separate trips. So that's pretty cool. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna fly off to Australia first for Not Fest Australia which will happen this weekend. Currently, right now, it's the 23rd of March. So they're actually gonna play three shows in Australia. Uh, Melbourne tomorrow, Sydney on the 25th, Saturday, which is, where, which is where I'm going. And then on Sunday, the 26th, they will play in Brisbane. And then I'll fly over to Japan, where Not Fest Japan will happen a week later on 1st of April and 2nd of April. They're gonna play two shows back to back. Um, two nights in Makuhari Mese, so uh, definitely can't wait for this. You know, this is gonna be my first time seeing Slipknot ever. Like I've been a fan all my life, and this is my first time seeing them live. So you know, I'm really excited. And not only Slipknot, you know, there's so many bands there that I love that I'm so excited to see. Like Trivium, Partway Drive, Megadeth, Corn, Spirit Box and you know bandmate you know and a few other japanese bands you know so this is gonna be really cool so i'm doing this vlog i'm gonna i'm gonna vlog this trip i'm gonna take as many videos as i can i'm gonna show as many things at the events as i can you know all the the shows you know i, I mean i'm not gonna watch every band so i'm not gonna post like clips of every band you know but i'll, I'll definitely try to post as many uh as many bands as I can, you know, especially, you know, def most definitely the ones that I'm watching for sure. But the ones that I'm not really watching, I'll still try to at least take like, you know, at least one song or something. And, you know, I'll show you guys the venue, you know, the merch and, you know, whatever food is there, if anybody cares about that. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be really cool. This is gonna be my first ever vlog. Uh, but I told myself that since I'm gonna do this big not fest trip, I've definitely gotta vlog it and show everyone my experience at the at the not fest australia not fest japan so yeah so i'm still at the singapore airport and i wanted to get some lunch so i was just looking around for places you know to eat and i found this really cool sports bar and everything here is boston sports like got the celtics you got the red sox got the patriots and then over here, they got this picture of Boston. More Celtic stuff here. View of the planes. This is really cool. Like, you know, everyone knows that I'm the biggest Boston Celtics fan in, in the world. So this is really cool to find to find this sports bar in Singapore that's you know all Boston. So yeah, now I'm gonna eat my steak and get ready for my flight to Sydney. <laughs> What's up everyone? So this is supposed to be the part where I say, yo, look, I'm in Sydney and all that, but unfortunately uh, shit happened uh, and my flight to Sydney ended up getting canceled. So I flew from Singapore to Manila and I was supposed to have a nine hour layover before my flight to Sydney. But unfortunately, exactly at the time I was supposed to board the flight, Philippine Airlines uh, decided to cancel my booking uh, to cancel the flight uh, because of, you know, um, they call it uh, plane maintenance. I don't even know what the hell that means. Uh, so I didn't end up getting on that flight. And they said, like, the next flight that they could book me on is tomorrow, which is the day that not fast Sydney is happening. So, okay, right, right now it's Friday, uh, the 24th. So 
basically they're saying that the next flight they can book me on is on Saturday the 25th which is the day that I need to be in Sydney for not fest so I was like I can't do that I gotta be in Sydney I gotta go for my concert I paid a shitload of money for this so I was like screw it I'm just gonna abandon my original booking and I'm just gonna book a set of new flights so I did that so I booked uh, I went to look and I found like the fastest way to get to Sydney from Manila so because it was already so late at the time it was like 3 30 and after all the talking and all the confirmation that they couldn't find new flights it was already like 4 a.m so I went to look and the fastest way to get to Sydney is to take Cathay Pacific to fly to Hong Kong and then uh, have a layover here and then take the flight from Hong Kong to Sydney so which is why right now I'm in this, at uh, Hong Kong Airport it's a really cool airport I love it but again obviously it's not where I want to be I should be in Sydney right now literally right now if everything everything went according to plan I should be in Sydney right now but unfortunately here I am Hong Kong Airport so yeah so my flight will be at 8 tonight and I will arrive in Sydney at 9.30 in the morning, Sydney time. Uh, so it's going to be a race against time. I'm going to have to try to clear immigration as fast as I can and rush to my hotel to throw everything in, into, uh, to throw out my luggage and my bags in the hotel, take a quick shower and then quickly rush to uh, the event because I'm trying, to, I'm trying not to miss anything. I'm trying to... Uh, be able to catch all the bands that I want to watch and also uh, go for my Not Fast Museum booking. My, my, my Not Fast Museum ticket is for 12 p.m. so I don't want to miss that too. So yeah, you know, shit happens. I mean, I can keep bitching about it, keep complaining, but it is what it is. I'm not going to be able to change it. So all I can do is, you know, in the words of Slipknot, stop your bitching and fight your way through it so that's what i'm gonna do that's why i paid a whole set of amount of money a shit of amount of money to book completely new fright uh new flights so yeah let's do this so i'm gonna go chill i haven't slept at all since yesterday when i was in singapore airport so i'm gonna go chill and i'll see you guys in sydney peace all right now i'm in sydney it's nine something a.m. so I gotta rush uh, quickly get my bags uh, clear immigration of course and then head to my hotel take a quick shower and quickly head to not fest let's go here we are Sydney time check 1048 I waited a long ass time to get my to get my luggage and well immigration was pretty fast so it really it was just waiting for my luggage Finally here, Sydney, again 10.48. Now I'm gonna rush to my hotel, throw everything in there, take a quick shower, get changed, and I'm off to not fest, baby, let's go. All right, I threw my bags into the luggage and I'm finally here in Centennial Park. Up ahead is not fest. I can already hear the music from here, really loud. I think that's Bad Omens playing right now. So yeah, I mean, I should have been here earlier, right from the start, but hey, better late than never. Right now it's like 12, so it's not too bad, you know. So let's do it, let's go. So here we are, not fast Australia, Centennial Park, Sydney. There's the entrance. There's a lot of people here right now, and a lot of people already inside. VIP tickets, so hopefully my VIP uh, entry lane is a little bit shorter because there's a lot of people there. That looks like it's a it's a long ass queue. So hopefully my VIP queue is a little bit shorter. But yeah, so here we go. Let's go. All right, I'm in here. Let's get it. All right, here I am. Got my little VIP pack here. Here we are. 
in the subsequent years between the last time we were here and the pandemic and today. First of all, we released two fucking albums. The latest of which is an album called The End So Far. Does anybody have a fucking album called The End So Far? Yeah. Boy, if you have the vinyl, it's called The End For Now, which is completely incorrect. However, seeing as it's been almost seven years, we would like to play you a new song off of our new fucking album. Would you like to hear a new fucking song off of our album? Now, hold on a second. I want you all to help me sing this next fucking song. Would you like to help me sing a song out there? Then my friends, my family, it's time to sing the dying song.
likewise. I want to see every crazy son of a bitch here at Sydney fucking Nutfest tonight. Get down on the fucking ground. Right? After I finished not fast <clears throat> Australia, so I didn't do a, a video, you know, to talk about like the experience, the review, or whatever. Just because you know, like I was in such a rush, it was so late. I'm just trying to get a get an Uber out of that place to quickly go back to my hotel because I had a flight to Japan morning the next day. So I was in a rush. I didn't do it. Uh, but now that I'm already in Japan and I've already settled down, I can finally talk about. Not best Australia. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> my bad. So, it was pretty cool. You know, as you guys already know, um, I went through a little bit of trouble, had some um, issues with my flight being canceled and all that. I almost missed the event, but uh, I booked new tickets and I made it. So, I was unfortunately late. I was there 12 something, so a few of the bands had already played. So, I missed Bad Omens. I missed. I'm sorry that I don't know this band, but uh, Mal Malevolence, 
sorry if I pronounced it wrong. If you're a fan of that band, I'm so sorry. I've never heard of that band. So, uh, but I miss them, unfortunately. <clears throat> when I arrived, uh, Void and Vision uh, was playing. So I, I did kind of see them like a couple songs. <clears throat> and then I went straight for my Not Best uh, Museum booking. And while I was there, uh, Alpha Wolf and Not Loose were playing. So I missed them because I was at the Not Best Museum. Uh, during those two performances and then uh, it was great the Fest Museum is great I'll put some footage you know before like I'm, I'm, fil I'm filming this after the show obviously but uh, before you guys reach this part of the video you guys already saw so I'll put all the Fest Museum pictures or video uh, video clips in the video uh, it was really cool and I got to try mix rig well not rig but uh, mix <clears throat> signature guitar with his, you know, signature sound and all that. And I got to try uh, V-Man's bass and Jay Weinberg's snare. So it was pretty cool. And uh, after that, uh, I went to, I went to uh, see Spirit Box. I really love Spirit Box. So I went to see Spirit Box. And I also saw Story of the Year, but you know, I, I didn't watch the full thing, just like a couple songs. And then after like midway through Story of the Year, I decided to go queue up for the merch. So I queued like a good like one hour, 45 minutes, something like that, uh, just for the merch. And I missed In Flames, but it doesn't matter because I'll be in Not Fest Japan and In Flames will be there anyways. So I can just see In Flames there. So I missed them there and uh, I did manage to get myself three shirts, really cool shirts. I'll put a picture here too. So yeah, I managed to cop some nice merch. And then after that, I went to the VIP platform. And uh, who did I see? Shit, I can't remember. Uh, I think it was I think it was Amon Amar, Amon Amar, <clears throat> play right after. So I went to the VIP. So I bought VIP tickets, right? So the VIP viewing platform is right at the back. Uh, probably not the best view, but you know, it was all right, you know, and it's sheltered because it, it rained, uh, when <clears throat> it rained when, uh, North Lane, wait, is it North Lane? Yeah, it was North Lane. North Lane was playing. So it, it was pretty cool that I can like shelter myself. Uh, but yeah, so I was at the platform while Amar Amar was playing and then I saw Trivium as well. And then I got some dinner. Or lunch, lunch, dinner. Uh, I got some biscuit with fries, really good. A lot of beef, love it. Great barbecue. And it was great. And then uh, when Megadeth started playing, that's when me and my boys uh, went down to the ground area and we started maneuvering ourselves to the front to get ready for Slipknot. So we managed to put ourselves pretty front and then uh, part way drive started their set at the other stage so some people moved there which opened up the which opened up the lane for us to go even further in front which we did that so we were i, would, I mean we're not all the way in the front but we we're still like a good like one six you know off the crowd like we we're within the pit area you know so it was pretty good so when slipknot started playing that's when everybody started like shoving and pushing and elbowing just to force their way in front uh, but it's expected, you know, I mean, it's slim knot, you know, what do you expect? So it was really good, you know, I really enjoyed my experience. I, it's great event, 10 out of 10. Uh, my only complaint is with the VIP tickets. I don't really think it's worth it because all I got was this. And then I got uh, that, you know, that little sling back kind of thing. It, it'll be on the picture, I'll post it. And you could actually buy that from the merch store. So it's not even like a VIP exclusive merch that, you know, they said on the... When you bought the VIP package, they, they listed a few things that you'll get from this package. So it says like VIP exclusive merch. You get this, you get that. So that's not even really VIP exclusive merch because you could literally get that from the merch store. So, and then the VIP platform was, wasn't the best view. Like the Slipknot stage was blocked by the sound stage so you couldn't like you had a perfect view for stage two but you couldn't see shit from stage one so yeah so the the, <clears throat> the viewing platform was terrible 
and then they said that there'll be like a on-site host but i didn't see any host there like the host was myself i was my own host so i don't know what on-site host was there so i didn't get that shit either so really for 400 extra dollars is this vip package worth it no and well i was late so i didn't experience that but i was told by the other like vip ticket holders that they actually got in later because even though technically uh, the VIP check-in is like 30 minutes earlier, but because there's only one lane open for the VIP ticket holders and the rest of the lanes were for the GA. So they actually ended up going in later than the GA. So that kind of defeats the purpose of getting a VIP ticket in the first place, right? So there's that. Uh, but for me, just because I was late, I didn't experience that. I actually got in pretty smooth. But <clears throat> yeah, so for 400 extra dollars, probably not worth it i probably should have just done the ga and got myself like the museum ticket as a you know optional extra and they'll just cost me like maybe 300 at most i save like half the money Shit, i could probably spend that second half <clears throat> to pay for someone else's ticket to help me line a queue up in the merch store queue up for food and all that <laughs> you know uh but yeah overall it's still a really great event i mean i'm just saying the vip ticket is not worth the price but the event itself 10 out of 10 really enjoy myself we'll definitely go there again if they do it again uh so yeah so that's all for not fest sydney uh unfortunately i didn't get to explore sydney because of my canceled flights <clears throat> and i literally only went there for one day for the show and flew out <laughs> the next day uh, but that's okay you know i still had a lot of fun and i'll definitely be back in sydney for like a proper vacation soon so yeah uh, so now <clears throat> I'm in Japan, uh, not fast Japan will be this weekend. It's Monday right now, right away. Uh, it's Monday, I think the 20, the 27th. So not fast Japan will be this weekend. <clears throat> so I can't wait for that. And I'll be back for part two of this vlog when not fast Japan happens. You know, I'll be taking same thing. I'll be taking as many videos as I can, as many pictures as I can. And you know, so yeah, I'll be back next weekend for part two of my Not Fest vlog. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Have a great one. Peace.